The Game & Watch Mario Edition. This bad boy doesn't just have game, it also has watch, too. But what is a Game & Watch? But first, if you like what you see, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps this channel grow. Alrighty, back to the video. Game & Watches, released in 1980 through 1991, with the occasional release in the modern age, like with the Club Nintendo Award and back in 2011, which was a re-release of Ball. Or like this little guy in 2020. So, these are the brainchild of the father of the Game Boy, Gunpei Yokoi. On his way to work while taking the train, he saw a businessman playing on his calculator. Then boom, he thought to himself, Oh shit, that would be a dope game. Here we are, 40 years later, and we still remember the Game & Watch. While I don't personally own any of the originals, the Game & Watch had tons of varieties to choose from. You have your standard Game & Watch rectangle, and uh, this one. No, oh, what does this one look like, huh? Ooh, and these ones are cool. Speaking of, did you know that the Game & Watch created the classic D-pad? Okay, right off the bat, I love this little thing. You can tangibly feel the quality put into it. It's small, but sturdy, and the button and D-pad all have this tactful feeling. It certainly feels like your classic Nintendo product. Also, I can't emphasize how tiny this thing is. It fits comfortably in the palm of your hand. There's three games to choose from. You got your stock and standard ball game. Gotta have it, it's a game and watch. Mario Bros, another classic and is fitting for the celebration of Mario's Big 35. Lastly, Mario Bros 2 for the <clears throat> Western audience, the lost levels. The last thing to talk about is the watch aspect. Man, I could watch this for hours. Believe it or not, this thing is chock full of little features and Easter eggs. Like your world selection in Mario Bros by pressing B on the menu. How about infinite lives if you're bad at video games like me? Oh, and on the watch screen, you can spawn a whole bunch of enemies to kill Mario. Oh man, my favorite bit. The time of day changes with the actual time. Oh, hey, hey, check this out. Take a page and a pen, draw a big mushroom and an egg. Then two more. Draw a cloud and a hill, now we'll add some coins. One, two, three. One, two, three. Draw a hill at the flag with a rising sun. And a little man and a It's me. Well, that's about it to this, and the real question is, is it worth the price? For a casual fan, it is going to be a hard no for me. This thing is not worth the price. And if I'm being honest, it is, it's just $50 for Mario Bros, Mario Bros 2, and a remastered Game & Watch Ball. With a couple of extra Easter eggs, that's, that's, just, that's just not worth $50, dude. But if you're a hardcore collector, and you love Nintendo stuff, then this is absolutely worth it, as it is one of the most chic, fun ways to play Mario Brothers. And it's just really novel having a Game & Watch in your hand that can play Super Mario Brothers. So yeah, that's about it. If you're not really into Nintendo, go ahead and skip it. But if you're a diehard fan, I highly recommend it, as this is an amazing quality product. Thank you so much for watching all the way through and sticking to the end. If you like what you saw, consider liking and subscribing. And if you dislike it, dislike it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.